As you can probably see, the short pressure is on for AMC after dropping like an absolute rock all the way below its floor value of $5.55. I honestly did not think it would drop below this price. It's now at four. And in fact, in the past few days, it's been kind of switching between three and four. Now, obviously, you know, you got the whole Binance situation with the FTX situation. That's also hurting a lot. The markets, if you guys don't know, SBF's FTX situation has rippled through the market. And you could kind of blame them if you want to. Now, if you look at the AMC stock, it's not exactly doing the best. In fact, a lot of cryptos are taking a huge beating on AMC. One of the reasons why we had such a big sell-off in a lot of areas was because of crypto. And since this is a low market cap stock, it's going to be affected by the whole FTX fiasco a lot more. Not to mention a nasty general market doesn't help either. Now, if you look around, we do have some things that honestly feel kind of illegal. If you check out this, you know, Ape fails to deliver hits 7.1 million. This is a lot of shares of Ape and not to mention a lot of shares of the AMC stock not being delivered. A lot of dark pool activity, most of the trading, a lot of the buys are put under the table and thus you're not going to be seeing a big increase. Despite the fact that there's still a lot of people going to movie theaters, and the movie theater industry really isn't that bad, as people say. We're also seeing Amazon investing a billion dollars in movie theaters every year. We should, at the very least, see the stock stabilize at $7 or $10. But in fact, it just simply keeps going down, down, lower and lower as the bar fees for the stock goes up. Now, the reason why I keep saying January 2023 might be a great month for apes is because the fees are increasing like crazy. Because so many shorts love barring AMC and not to mention margin prices are also going up. We're also seeing a double hit into the faces of shorts. If you check out this high fees, okay, we're looking at 128.3%. That is insanely expensive just to borrow shares to shorts. Not to mention a lot of people who short the stock, you can't make a lot of money unless you're on margin. And guess what? Margin is expensive right now. With rates at a record high in decades, if you want to go on margin, if you want to borrow money or take out a loan for anything, even stocks, it's going to be very, very expensive. So shorts are kind of ticking when there's a time limit here. They're kind of like a shelf life for shorts right now, and they're not going to last forever, like people say. So honestly, apes, be careful in the markets. Of course, this stock is still pretty popular. There's still a lot of people talking about it. Let's see what happens in 2023. I think 2023 will be a way better year than 2022. Since 2023, people will start talking about rate cuts. And I'm guessing just personally, rate cuts probably quarter four of 2023.